Now back to our top story here on RT. Uh, the issue is the Arab League are currently meeting in Cairo to discuss the future of the crisis in Syria. Uh, we, are, we are hearing that uh, the reports of escalating violence all across the country. And let's uh, discuss this further with uh, Dr. Adel Samara, now joining us live from Ramadan. Uh, thank you for coming on RT today. The latest angle we have on this story is that Al-Qaeda uh, is now saying that it's extending its support to the Syrian opposition as Washington is now preparing to back the opposition. It, it does seem perhaps a bit bizarre at first that they're both, um, they're both supporting each other in this against the Assad regime. America ultimately backing its enemy in the war on terror. Uh, I don't think that Al Qaeda is too far from the United States politics in the region or all over, all, all, all over the, the, I mean the, the world. Uh, many branches of Al Qaeda are in fact related to the United States, to the CIA directly. And mainly, if you know that uh, Al Qaeda have been created originally by the, the United States, uh, I mean CIA or the regime in general. Accordingly, I think that the United States is behind Al Qaeda in Syria as it was behind Al Qaeda in Libya. It is the same, by the way. Uh, and that's why, you know, I think Al-Qaeda is still trying to manipulate the Palestinian, the Arab people that, you know, Al-Qaeda is against the United States because it is some form of internal compromise between the leadership of Al-Qaeda and the United States regime so as to show that they are against the United States because the, the United States in the region have a very bad reputation. Right, so, so is, is it fair to say then that it looks like now that Washington and Al-Qaeda are both fighting against the same enemy, that of President Assad? It is for sure, and we have to put in mind also that the fundamentalists in general are in a very good relationship in the ideology to, uh, regarding, you know, the issue of capitalism, that capitalism and fundamentalism are, co are allies, if you like, uh, from, uh, from an ideological point of view. And also it is for, uh, they are allies, uh, for, uh, I mean, regarding their interests. That's why the, both of them are fighting the same enemy, which is, you know, the Syrian regime, and especially and largely, if you like, the Arab nationalism. All right. Now, if I may, the, the UN is set to team up with the Arab League monitoring mission. Uh, but the first mission report wasn't even taken into account by some UN members, even before they voted on the draft resolution. We're looking at uh, an Arab League and a UN monitoring mission part two. What's the point? I don't think that you know the United Nations will be a neutral part in the in the in the conflict in Syria. It is the same for the Arab regime. You know that the United Nations is controlled by the imperialist countries, especially the United States. And accordingly, I don't think that you know they will accept its report if the report will be similar to the report which you know produced by the Arab, uh, I mean, uh, people who sent from the Arab League itself. Directly, and all the people knows, you know, that when the when the Syrian uh, representative in the United Nations asked for a derby to come there to to, to to I mean to deliver his speech, they the United Nations did not allow him to come. This means that you know they are not neutral in the in the, in the beginning, and they will not be neutral uh, later. All right, let's let's just ch uh, jump in here and, and, and just shift gears here, if I may. Um, some analysts believe that uh, Washington and its, and its allies want to use this conflict in Syria as a means of targeting Iran and Hezbollah. Do you see any truth in that? Uh, it is not. Uh, it's not a secret. You know, the, the United States first of all wants to to destroy Syria so as to cut. You know, the arch of resistance, which started from Tehran to Damascus and also to, 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 to south of Lebanon, for sure, uh, the, the, this is the goal, this is the direct goal. And also we have to put in mind that the resistance movement and the, the, the Arab regimes, especially Syria, who are against imperialism in the region, this new current or this new front, if you like, is challenging the traditional front, which is, you know, all Arab regimes who are related and directed and the, uh, who are playing the role of, you know, currently to the United States or to the imperialism. That's why this new front should be destroyed. And it is not a secret, as I said. All right, Dr. Adel Samara, uh, live in Ramallah, thank you for joining us on RT today. That's all the time we have for. Thank you.